Hello, Phoenix Union family. I wanna thank you for all that you have done to prepare for the safe return to in-person learning next Monday. We are extremely excited to welcome back nearly 28,000 beautiful young men and young women, many of whom have not been on our campuses ever or have not been back to our campuses for over a year and a half. As we welcome our students back, it is critical that we bring our students and our visitors and our parents and even yourselves back as safely as possible. That is why Phoenix Union has been committed since day one of COVID to your health, your safety, and your wellness. We must continue to implement the strongest mitigation practices possible. As you are likely aware, CDC, as well as our state health agency and our county health agency has recently revised their guidelines and recommendations around the safe return to school. And specifically, health agencies have said that masking in schools is critical for the safety of staff, students, and visitors, regardless of vaccination status. Today in Phoenix Union and in Arizona, we find ourselves at a crossroads. We know that spread of COVID in our communities, including the Delta variant, has resulted in all 32 of our zip codes being in higher substantial spread. And we also know that the science that we teach and trust and the guidelines and recommendations that we have received from national, state, and local health agencies says we should mask. We also live and work in a state that says that mask mandates are fully banned in Arizona and that we're not allowed to require masks on our campuses. We have said from day one that we will do all we can to protect your health and your safety, not just you, but your families and the communities within which you live and the kids that we serve. Phoenix Union today made an announcement that as we start school on Monday, August 2nd, that we will require masks on our campus. And we'll require masks on our campus while inside in the presence of others, not outside, not when you're alone inside, but when you are inside in the presence of others in order to keep ourselves, yourselves, and our students safe. When we come back to in-person learning, we wanna stay in in-person learning. We wanna reduce the spread of COVID, minimize quarantining, and do all we can to avoid school closures. We know that you and our kids deserve to be back on campus, return to normalcy as much as possible. That will only happen if we are clear and strong and stick to the mitigation strategies that we know work in schools. At Convocation this week, we delivered a message about love and learning. And today, this decision emphasizes that very commitment to you, that we love you enough to make bold decisions to keep you safe. And at the same time, we will do everything we can to bring back high quality teaching and learning in our classrooms. We want you back and we wanna keep you back. And I wanna to end today by reminding you that aside from masks, the number one mitigation strategy, the number one way in which we can reduce the spread of COVID in our communities is by taking the vaccine. Phoenix Union is a state and national leader in bringing vaccines to communities, making widespread access to all who live in our zip codes. This weekend, today, and tomorrow, we have eight sites dispensing vaccines. We'll continue to bring vaccines to our campuses and partner with agencies. For more information about vaccines and our mitigation plans, please visit our website, pxu.org. We're committed more than ever to your health and safety. We're excited to have you back, and I look forward to seeing you on campuses as soon as possible.